What's up everybody, Damon here, and in today's gaming news, it's a big one. The hackers who breached Insomniac Games and promised to release confidential information if its demands weren't met, have done just that. Loads of data on upcoming games and Sony's internal plans have been leaked in one of the industry's most damaging breaches in years. Now given the nature of these leaks and the information they contain, today's video might not be for you. Consider this a big ol' spoiler warning. Ready? Is your daily fix. The hackers who breached Spider-Man developer Insomniac and threatened to release confidential data unless they were paid around $2 million within seven days have made good on their threat after Sony reportedly refused to meet their demands. According to Cyber Daily, the ransomware group released 1.7 terabytes of data made up of more than 1.3 million files which contain a variety of videos and images. They show the upcoming Wolverine game, personal staff information, and even a contract signed by both Marvel and Sony for future projects. Videos showing early Wolverine footage and unannounced characters are now online, as is the game's cast, a list of locations, the plot, and a target release date. Insomniac's release slate up to the end of 2033 is also listed, alongside estimated development budgets. The data reportedly also includes a bootable build of Wolverine. When news of the data breach first emerged, Sony issued a statement saying it had launched an investigation and confirmed no other Sony divisions were affected. Neither it nor Insomniac have commented on this latest development. Cyber Daily published a statement attributed to one of the hackers, which reads, yes, we knew who we were attacking. We knew that developers making games like this would be an easy target. We were able to get the domain administrator within 20 to 25 minutes of hacking the network. Sony has launched an investigation, but it would be better in the backyard. Not sure what that means, but apparently the hackers said money was the only motive for the attack. The data released includes a slide that reveals Insomniac's upcoming games list. The planned games are Venom in 2025, Wolverine in 2026, Spider-Man 3 in 2028, a new Ratchet and Clank in 2029, X-Men in 2030, and an untitled new game in 2031 or 2032. Now, as with all information revealed in the data breach, this release slate is subject to change. Another slide shows an extended roadmap that includes multiple X-Men games and a second new franchise released in 2035. Yet another slide details Insomniac's multiplayer ambitions, which include Spider-Man 2 Online for 2024, Wolverine Online for 2026, and X-Men Online for 2028. These release plans may now be out of date. The X-Men license terms are detailed. $120 million is listed as a development budget for each game, with $30 million earmarked for marketing. All X-Men games are meant to launch by 2035, with PlayStation Console and PC listed as platform. The Venom game is fully detailed. It's called Venom Lethal Protector, and leads into Spider-Man 3 following the events of Spider-Man 2. Sounds like Venom is to Spider-Man 2 what Miles Morales was to Spider-Man, offering an 8-10 to 10 hour standalone experience. A Q2 2025 release window is mentioned alongside a $50 price point. Another slide suggests Spider-Man 3 may launch in two parts, part one down for holiday 2027 and part two pegged for holiday 2028. Multiplayer is listed to launch alongside part one and a combo game is down for 2029. Again, these plans may now be out of date. This is probably the second biggest gaming leak of the year after that enormous leak of Xbox information a few months ago. And wow, I guess Insomniac is basically a Marvel factory now, huh? Now, speaking of those X-Men games. The data breach also revealed Sony signed a deal with Marvel to make exclusive X-Men games until the end of 2035. According to the document, between now and December 31st, 2035, Marvel cannot release or announce any X-Men games on console, PC, or streaming platforms, or use an X-Men character as a competitive advantage in a game. The document provides the example of playing as Wolverine in Ultimate Alliance exclusively on Xbox, which would not be allowed under the terms. X-Men characters can appear in what are called multi-family Marvel games, however, so you might see Wolverine, for example, show up in an Avengers game. And Marvel retains the rights to children's games and certain X-Men games from the 90s. But otherwise, this is a watertight exclusivity deal that gives Sony the rights to X-Men games for the next 12 years. The document details development and marketing spend for each X-Men game, Marvel's royalty, which varies depending on the nature of the sale from physical to digital bundle, and the terms of a potential termination. Platforms are, as you'd expect, PlayStation and PC. Now, the video game industry has descended upon Marvel in recent years to snap up licenses to make games based on its intellectual property. Last year, Electronic Arts announced it had signed a long-term deal with Marvel to develop at least three new action-adventure games for consoles and PC, the first being a single-player, third-person action-adventure Iron Man game from Star Wars Squadrons and the Dead Space remake developer Motive Studios. EA is also making a single-player action-adventure game based on Black Panther at a new Seattle-based EA studio called Cliffhanger Games. Elsewhere, Skydance Media is developing a Marvel World War II set narrative-driven adventure with Amy Hennig of Uncharted fame. It lets you play as Steve Rogers as an early Captain America, among other Marvel characters. And let's not forget Blade, just announced at the Game Awards as in development at Dishonored and Deathloop studio Arcane. Arcane is owned by Bethesda, which in turn is owned by Microsoft. 
platforms are yet to be announced, but we can of course count Xbox and PC among them. As for the X-Men, Sony's deal comes as Marvel prepares to properly unleash the X-Men within the Marvel Cinematic Universe, with a significant tease at the end of the recently released The Marvels, setting up the inevitable arrival of the popular mutant superhero team. Deadpool 3, which features mutants Deadpool and Wolverine, is 2024's only Disney MCU movie. And finally today, leaked slides have revealed Sony's internal concern at competitor Microsoft's emerging strategy following a $69 billion acquisition of Activision Blizzard. Sony described the buyout, which brings the likes of Call of Duty, World of Warcraft, and Candy Crush within Xbox as the leapfrog. It says Microsoft is now positioned to quote, leapfrog our current pillars. Sony points out the benefits of the acquisition, which arms Microsoft with strong live service games, scale in mobile, and a ready-made PC storefront in Battle.net. Sony goes on to express concern about the Call of Duty threat coming in 2027. In order to appease antitrust regulators, Microsoft signed a deal with Sony to keep Call of Duty on PlayStation, and according to these internal documents, that deal ends in 2027. Sony predicts a massive threat to its subscription service, PlayStation Plus. There's a day and date threat too with Microsoft poised to launch Activision Blizzard games straight into Game Pass. Microsoft has said it won't release the likes of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 and Diablo 4 into Game Pass until 2024, but it is possible next year's Call of Duty game, reportedly called Black Ops Gulf War, will launch straight into Game Pass. In the document, Sony admitted its pillars are already dated and behind the competition and lamented the elusive perfect game subscription. The expectation of free, best-in-class video games creates an unsustainable model, Sony said, with subscription revenue not enough to cover investment. Sony's central approach, it said, remains the premium sales model. The Insomniac data breach comes as Sony's live service game push hangs in the balance. Last month, Sony president Hiroki Totoki said the company was reviewing the 12 live service PlayStation games it had in the works and committed to launching only six of them by the end of March 2026. One has already fallen away completely as Naughty Dog recently canceled the Last of Us multiplayer game. Sony has spent big on studio buyouts as part of the live service drive, bringing in Destiny developer Bungie, Jade Raymond's Haven Studios, and Firewalk Studios. Bungie is working on Marathon, a PvP sci-fi extraction shooter. Haven is working on Fair Games, a competitive heist game, and Firewalk Studios is working on Concord, another sci-fi PvP multiplayer game. And there's also a Horizon multiplayer game from Guerrilla and a co-op action game from PlayStation's London studio. And we now know that Insomniac is planning a number of multiplayer games itself. And that is your Daily Fix for Tuesday, December 19th. Now that you caught up on the news, check out our impressions of the Skull and Bones closed beta. I'm Damon Hatfield, and for all your video game news, stay tuned to IGN.